Hey folks, it's Jeffrey with Nature's Own Pest Control. Uh, just wanted to make a quick video for you about scorpions again. Um, uh, I hear a lot of people say that uh, their pest control technician tells them that, that we can't kill scorpions, we can only kill their food supply. And um, to a certain extent that's true, that the best strategy is to kill their food supply first. But if you use the right products, and you have the right know-how, you can also kill the scorpions themselves. Um, you flush out the right cracks and crevices, and you find the right hiding places, and you flush those out, and you'll find scorpions um, that, have been, that have been sprayed, and they're dead or dying. Um, and just to show you that, um, I'm going to do a little black light hunt. I've already done the hunt and found a few of them um, dead and dying. And just to show you, I, I just sprayed this house um, about an hour ago before it got dark. And um, I found uh, several scorpions dead and dying. So I just wanted to show you those real quick. We're going to do it with a black light so you can see them real good. So here's a dead scorpion that I smashed. So you see he's got you know, some legs and stuff. But uh, that's right next to the front door. Uh... Here's the front door right here. So that's dead scorpion number one. And over here in the front yard. Right under a some kind of yucca, I think is what these plants are. Here's dead scorpion number two, just chilling under a plant. Um, he was twitching already. He was actually stinging himself, which is something that they do um, after they get they get sprayed and they start getting confused. They sting themselves, which is pretty crazy. So when I found him, he was stinging himself. I smashed him, put him out of his misery. Um, one place that I find them pretty often is these water boxes. I don't know if this one ran in here and died, but... There he is right there. I found him already dead. That's dead scorpion number three. You can get a black light like this and do your own black light hunts. Um, black light hunts by themselves aren't going to aren't going to get rid of your scorpion problem, but they sure do do a lot to reduce numbers, and reducing numbers is what helps keep them out of your house. Here's dead scorpion number four. He's right by the, the gate leading to the backyard. And I found him, and I think he was moving kind of slow. I think he had got a hit of it too. That's probably why he's out in the open. Um, but I just squashed him real quick and he died pretty fast too. But all of them have been moving really slow, meaning that they were dying. And then heading into the backyard here. Is dead scorpion number five. Right there, hello dead scorpion number five. Um, when I found him, he was just barely twitching. He was, he was dead. Um, and so I didn't even have to smash him. Um, so the reason all these scorpions are out, uh, one, one reason uh, is that I sprayed, obviously. Uh, I did a thorough crack and crevice treatment on their fence line. Oh, here's another scorpion. Look at that. Hey there, guy. He looks lethargic. I'm actually gonna smash him with my light here just to make sure yeah, he he's not uh, he's not going anywhere. Yeah. Um. So that's dead scorpion number six. The reason these scorpions are out is because I sprayed. The spray flushes them out. Um, that's actually part of a, a treatment is accepting that you're going to actually see your scorpions come out, and uh, that can. That can really bother people. 
for the first few days, um, the scorpions come out because, because of the spray. But the reason that they're out is because they're bothered and the spray is working on them. It's, it's killing them. So especially the, the night, you know, just an hour after the treatment, um, you're going to see a lot of scorpions. Anyway, the other reason that they're out tonight is probably because today is the day. If you live in the Phoenix area, you'll remember we got up to 120 degrees today. It's June 20th. This is the night of June 20th. Um, and I think we got, I think the official was 120 degrees. I'm not, I'm not sure, but the thermometer in my car actually got up to 124 today. I had to keep my palms to the, towards the ground because if my palms were in the sun, you could feel them burn. That's how hot it was today. And heat really brings out the scorpions. Anyway, just wanted to make that quick video for you. I'm just finishing up my hunt here, seeing if I can find any more for you. But that was six dead scorpions. Um, I'll probably title the video that. Give us a, a like, um, either on Facebook or here on uh, YouTube. And um, give us a subscribe. Subscribe to the channel if you want to learn more about scorpions and other pests. Uh, we do a lot with bed bugs. That's one of our main specialties. So we have quite a few videos on bed bugs also. Here's another scorpion. Right next to the wood pile. I'm always talking about wood piles. Oh, he, he went back in the wood pile. See, I can't spray wood piles. So that's why one of the main rules is do not have a wood pile right up against your fence because this fence is where scorpions like to live and they like to live in the wood pile. And since I'm not allowed to spray the wood, um, then I can't really treat the fence around the wood either. And that causes big problems for you. Anyway, uh, thank you very much for watching and we'll catch you guys next time.